Bulgaria versus Thailand, quarterfinal number one in the K1 World Max 2024. If the hairs on your arms are bristling, if the butterflies in your stomach are flapping their wings, embrace the feeling, savor the moment, revel in the nostalgia. This has never happened in any other sport. It may never happen again. This, a moment to remember. Where were you? How were you feeling when Borkow made his return to K1 Max? And Stoyan Koprivlenski of Bulgaria to defeat the legend and claim his spot in the semi-finals. Look out for the high kicks on Stoyan. Magnificent flexibility. Says he is trained, he is prepared, he is ready to go. They remove the Mongkon from Bulgakau and is placed on the corner post. No! The Prajan no! armbands around the biceps of Bulgakau. Michael Chavello, Stuart Fulton with you. Poprevlinski comes out jabbing. Look out for the lead leg of Bulgakau and also those dangerous hands. Check from Bulgakau. Counters with an outside leg kick and a teep off the lead leg. Nice high guard from Bulgakau. Stop, Koprolenski will go head hunting with the round kicks. He's going to stay on his bike, move around, maybe try and draw Borakow to deep water. Body shot from Borakow with the lead hand. Stoyan, tight guard. Another cheap off the lead leg from Borakow. We all know that weapon, Stuart. Oh, yes. We know it's very, very well. Look at this, coming in with the pressure, with the knees now trying to force Koprivlenski into the corner, but he does the right thing and it pivots out. The lead leg team of Burgau is designed to be both offensive and defensive. It can keep opponents at bay, but also the way he digs the balls of feet into the guts of the opponent can hurt. And already we see ready marks around the midsection of Stoyan Koprivlenski. Nice lean back there from Borgau. Fires the one, two, the two lands. Koprovlinski needs to use his reach here. Gotta stay smart. Cannot fight inside a phone booth against Borgau. Yeah, Koprovlinski has wicked head kicks. And when he sets them up, they're very, very dangerous. When Borgau throws the right leg, he will tend to chamber the kick and drop his lead hand. That may be a chance for Stoyan to counter. Slips to the outside of the jab, throws the knee to the ribs, does Borkow. It's classic Borkow so far. Good jab, Koprovinsky again though, eats the front kick, body shot, belly button through the back, no knockdown, says the referee. Jab again from Koprovinsky. Double forearms guard against the round kick, wild overhand right to a liver shot from the Bulgarian. Planting left hand, lead back encounter from Borkow. Under a minute to go, first round. Borkow, a little bit of manhandling. Short, dirty knee on the inside. You aren't allowed to clinch a knee under K1 rules. You can knee all you like, but you can't clinch. Wakao back in here. It's still hard to believe, but look at him. It looks like he hasn't missed a day. Spinning back fist and then lean back to defend against two punches from Stoyan. The way he frames off that lead arm as well. Borkow to set up the right hand. High kick from the tie. Koprovlinski looking for the counter right hand. Borkow on the outside, spinning back fist from the Bulgaria, head kick! And another one! Trying to crack the forearms of Koprovlinski. Get the Bulgarian to drop his hands and come over the top. Get a no nice sound of the bell, some confusion. Final 10 seconds. Ball right hand to end it, didn't land for Koprovlinski. End of the first round. Three judges, ringside are scoring on a 10-point must system. Stuart, your thoughts, your scorecard after one. Oh, it's official. Boakal is back in here, and he is looking tougher than ever. I have to say, he controlled much of that first round there. He was dealing with a very, very tough Koprovlenski, as we know, the man who came back into the tournament here today, replacing the injured Oyang Feng uh, on the merit of his performance in March. But Boakal, just take a look at some of this. Bulkow told us yesterday the power of Muay Thai will prevail against Stoyan. Muay Thai, one of the oldest martial arts in the world. The history of Muay Thai dates back thousands of years and 
you see bull cows wearing the project armband around the biceps. Traditionally, they were made by tearing a piece of a mother's sarong and wrapping it around her son's arm for good luck when he went out on the battlefield. Second round of action unofficially will go 10 9 Borgau in the opening round. But Stoyan giving a very good account of himself. Second of three, one extra round in case of a draw. Early check off the lead league there by Borgau, a second one. Inside, outside five from Stoyan. Nice jab from the Bulgarian. High check from Borgau. Didn't check the second. Cracks that lead five. Nice kick to the upper left rib cage from Borgau. Seep to the midsection. Leans back out of the way of the hook. Gets on the outside of the jab. The head movement of Borgau has always been superb. Especially after that first K1 Max win in 2004 when he started to really power up his boxing. Moving from the hips, the head moving on the outside of his punches. Never presents himself in a straight line. Borgau and again evading. Where's a high kick from Stoyan? Didn't quite have the pivot on the lead foot Stoyan to talk the hips over on that round kick. But as I said, Borgau does tend to drop that lead hand. It may be the opening for Stoyan. Well, we talked about this earlier, Michael. The ability of Wakal to read his opponents and couple that with his toughness, his ability to take heavy shots and still get back in his opponent's faces. I mean, this is a man who has fought absolute legends over the years. John Wayne Parr, Albert Krauss, Masato, Georgia Petrosin, Andy Sauer, legends. And multiple times he's fought them. Wayne Parr took him to an extra round in the quarterfinals of that 2004 tournament. Borgau only won by split decision. Tip here from Borgau, lead leg, jab two, Kangaroo falls short and checks the low kick. Now once again, this is a tournament. Borgau had intended to try and get Koprevlinski out of here early, but we're past the midway point in the second round. And both men have taken some punishment. Dump there from Borgau. Won't score for him under K1 rules. He is cautioned by the referee, but it does mean that Koprevlinski needs to pick himself up off the canvas, a little mentally deflating. Yeah, it's a psychological point, that referee Toyonaga having a word with him there following that. It's not going to win any points, but they are going back at it in the kicking range now. High kick from Koprevlinski. He knows where his bread is buttered. Stoya smack bang between the eyes with the right hand. And Borkow, where's the punch? Sweat flew off the brow of the tie. Oh, he got clipped there with a one-two. Rocked him back a little bit, but stays composed. Borkow's dropping that left arm. He's got to keep it up. You see Stoyan coming over the top with the straight right. Borkow's left is low. Oh, that's what happens. His left hand is low, and Stoyan caught him. He the left him. hand's been low, Stuart, and he caught him, knocked down for Stoyan. Touched him there with that kick. Upstairs, closing seconds of the round, though. You can see it in the opening round, the left hand's low. And Stoyan has spotted it. Big Mike spotted it between rounds, no doubt. It's a 10-8 round for Stoyan Koprevlansky. I think Borgau's asking his corner, what did he hit me with? I told you. Big Mike is always very vocal in the corner, and Borkow, I believe, a little confused. I think he went back to his corner, Stuart, and said, what did he catch me with? Yeah, there's no way he saw that coming. He just finished the kick himself. See, when you take a look at that there to the middle, and it just came up over the top, whoop, onto the chin, down to one knee. He's flash knockdown. It's that left hand. Comes down, and Koprovlinski capitalized. Third and final round, 10-8 round for Stoyan Koprovlinski. 19-18 to the Bulgarian on our unofficial scorecards after two. Borkow's got to keep that left hand up, and he's got to go for broke now. If Borkow wins this final round 10-9, we may be going for an extension. Stoyan will be oozing with confidence out of every pore right now. Good jab. There's the teeth from Borka. Inside leg kick, Stoyan counters off it. Borka goes the body. Oh, the head kick again. This time off the lead leg. 
Buakau goes his own head kick. Stoyan now. Switch kicking off the lead leg as opposed to the right leg. Buakau's going to cover both sides of the head. Jab from Stoyan. He's jabbing and circling into the power side, though, of Buakau. But where do you go against Buakau? You know the power on the left leg as well if you tripped off to your right. There's a front kick from Stoyan off the rope. Buakau digging to the liver. Stoyan. Using the range on that lead hand, overhand right, didn't turn the knuckles over, nor in the second one. This is a confidence fight from Stoyan Koprovlenski. Stoyan Koprovlenski is so hungry, it's like he hasn't eaten for weeks coming in here, facing the man that he grew up watching in the K1 ring. Big tap from Borgiao, going to get another caution from the referee. Is there frustration creeping in on Borgiao? Looks for the counter, didn't find it. Break. One minute 35 remains in this fight. How taste my feet, says Stoyan, an insult to a Thai fighter to kick them in the mouth with a front kick. Body shot from Borgau. There's the right hand from Stoyan, the left was low again on Borgau. Big Mike Passanier in the corner of Stoyan is barking at him, screaming at him. He's going to burst a blood vessel. 110 remaining. Gut punching knee from Borkow, tried to fold him like origami. Front kick off the lead leg and a high left round from Borkow. Gets on the inside of the right cross. What a way to kick off this tournament. We are in round three and these two men are still going at it like there's no tomorrow. Stoyan taken down and Borkow went to side control but it was the wrong sport. Counter right hand from Stoyan, short knee on the inside. 40 seconds remaining. And likewise, Borgau's corner are begging him to come forward to turn on the pressure. And here he comes now. Thumping right hand from Stoyan. Knee Borgau. Can't flinch a knee though. Referee's going to warn him. You hear Mike Passanier saying he's getting a warning now for the clinch and knee. Borkow cannot afford to lose a point here. Just a warning, no point deduction. He cannot afford to lose a point. Borkow takes the right hand. This is a wonderful fight from Stoyan Koprovlenski. Final 10 seconds. Spinning back for his Borkow, coming against him the high left round. Borkow trying to unload a heavy salvo in the dying stages. We are going down to the judges. The question is, did Borkow take the final round? If he did, we may go an extension. If he didn't, it will be Stoyan. How did the judges see it? Mike Passanier saying, hands up, Stoyan. Show the world we won it. Wherever you're watching, folks, how do you score it? We can go an extension round. Judge is the time. Judge is the time. Judge 30-27. I had a 29-27 for Stoyan. He's done it. He has done it. Stoyan Koprovlenski defeats Borkow by unanimous decision. Unofficially, we had Borkow 10-9 first. Stoyan 10-8 second. Stoyan edging it the third 10-9. And Stoyan Koprovlenski, who replaced Oyang Feng, the pre-tournament favorite, advances to the semi-finals. For Borkow, the dream of becoming a three-time match champion is over.